hello guys welcome back to another video and today we'll be looking at bases it's just a quick notes guide on this topic as you know it's not something that is usually heavily tested on the mathematics syllabus but it can also be useful for students who are doing information technology so today we'll be looking at base 2 base 4 base 8 and base 10 but not much on the basis of base 10 as base 10 is what we use in our everyday life of counting with digits ranging from 0 to 9 as in our regular counting system every number that we use ranges from every digit ranges from 0 to 9 while with base 2 it uses num digits zeros and 1 with base 4 it uses digits of 0, 1, 2 and 3 and with base 8 it uses digits from 0 to 7. So what we are going to be looking at in this video is adding and subtracting of these different bases that are required on the syllabus. So it's just a quick run through. So we're going to start with adding of base 2. So as I remember I just stated the only digits that are in base 2 are 0 and 1 so if you add and at the end your answers does not only comprise of digits of 0 and 1 then something is wrong so for example we're looking at 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 you can't write 2 which is our regular addition system which is base 10 but instead 1 plus 1 is actually 0 carry 1 but if you can't remember that what you can look at is changing the two that you got to from a base 10 to a base 2 number and this is how we can do it by dividing that 2 by the base 2 so what you can say is 2 into 2 goes one time and remainder 0 and 2 into 1 you can't with remainder 1 so our answer from changing the number 2 to a base 2 number is 1 0 so this is changing 2 base 10 to base 2 and the answer is 1 0 so therefore when we're writing it in our calculation it becomes 0 which is this 0 carry 1 and then next we have to do again 1 plus 1 and we'll just figure out what 1 plus 1 is in base 2 it's 0 carry 1 so again we'll have 0 carry 1 so it's 0 carry 1 and again we have 1 plus 1 so again we'll have 0 carry 1 and at this time this one doesn't have anything to add with so therefore we put back 1 right here and that is our answer so our answer for adding 111 plus 1 is 1000 in base 2 so next we're going to look at adding 111 1 plus 1 1 so as we previously stated 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 so that is 0 carry 1 and then we have 1 plus 1 which is 0 carry 1 plus this 1 is 1 so it's 1 plus 0 to give us 1 here so 1 1 1 is basically 1 carry 1 so that is 1 carry 1 so 1 plus 1 is 0 so we have a 0 carry 1 and then this 1 plus that 0 is one basically so there are different ways that you can look at it for you to understand and should you even say one plus one plus one is three you can change that three which is base 10 as you know three is not a digit that is in the base 2 system so you can change that three which is base 10 to base 2 by dividing the three by two so two into three goes one time remainder one and then 2 into 1 you can't so remainder is 1 so therefore you see that the digits for remainders are 1 and 1 so that is the 1 right here and we carry the next one so there are different ways that you can look at this theory and understand it so now we have 1 plus 1 which again we know is 0 carry 1 0 carry 1 and then 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 and we know this one doesn't have anything to add with so we place it back so our answer for this is one zero zero one zero to the base two and that is our answer so now we're looking at adding base two and just to wrap it up it's basically saying zero plus zero is equal to zero one plus zero is equal to one zero plus one is equal to one 
one plus one is equal to one zero where this zero is a zero unit and this one is saying is there is one group of two and that is zero carry one which you have seen in the calculations above and then we have one plus one plus one and that is equal to one carry one or one one so now we'll be looking at subtracting base two digits so we have one 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 zero one minus one zero one so one minus one is zero it's just regular subtraction one minus one is zero zero minus zero is zero you have nothing there's nothing to take away so zero minus zero is zero then again we have one minus one which we saw earlier was zero and then we have one and there's nothing to take away from it and the same one again nothing to take away from it so therefore our answer for this problem is one one zero 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 to the base two so now we have another equation of one 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 minus one zero one one so one from one is zero as we saw earlier and then again in the second column one minus one is zero and then we have zero from one is one as you had one thing and you know zero is nothing so that leaves us with one and then one from one is zero and there's nothing to take away from this one so we replace it put it back so we have one zero one zero zero to the base two now we have this of one zero 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 one minus one zero one one so it's one from one and that leaves us with zero as we saw earlier however what i wanted to pay attention is now we have one from zero and that is something that we can't do so let me just go back say it's one from one leaves us with a zero right here but then we have one from zero and we know that that cannot happen if you have nothing which is zero you cannot take away one from me if i have nothing so if i remember when subtracting base 10 numbers when you borrow one from the another number the number that is beside it whether here here or here then you are actually borrowing 10 even though you say you know borrow one so in base two when you are borrowing you're actually borrowing two so for example look at this calculation at the bottom where we have 1218 minus 165 so we can say five from eight we get three but then one reads to six from one that is something that you can't do so what to do is usually go to this two and say you know cross out this two and borrow one and leave one right here but this one that we brought over it is actually 10 and not just one so we didn't say one plus one and put two right here we said 10 plus one is equal to 11 so now what we have in this tens column is 11 so then we say six from 11 give us five and then one from one give us zero and then this one comes back right here so it's the same concept or the same thinking when you're subtracting other bases once you're borrowing something from another number it actually represents the base that you're subtracting in so in this case we're using base two so what you're going to do is come across and from this one we're going to borrow one from it leave with zero and then bring it here but when you bring it here it's two representing of base two again we still need something right here for this one to be subtracted from so we go again and we say one from this two leave one and we bring again over that one and it comes over as two and we repeat that again and we now have two right here so we borrow one from this two leave us with one and bring over that one which becomes two representing of the base two in which we're calculating so now we can go ahead and subtract and say one from two leave us with one and then we can go ahead with a regular subtraction of zero from one leave us with one and then one from one remember we're not using the numbers at the top in the red so it's one from one leave us with zero and then you know there's nothing else so basically our answer is one one zero to the base two so now we'll be looking at adding base 
eight. So it's four seven six three plus two one five. So if we say five plus three, that gives us eight. But if you remember when I stated earlier at the beginning of this video, eight is not a part of the base eight system. So numbers for base eight are digit for base eight ranges from zero to seven. So it is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So therefore, eight is not a part of the base eight system. So what we'll need to do is convert that eight to a base eight digit and we can just do that by dividing by eight so we just say eight into eight goes one time remainder zero and then eight into one you can't remainder one so therefore eight base ten to a base eight digit is one zero so eight base ten is equal to one zero so this right here should actually be base eight so it's 8 base 10 is equal to 1, 0, base 8. And therefore, 5 plus 3 is equal to 0, carry 1. Then 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is equal to 8. And we just found out 8 is the same as 0, carry 1. So that again, we have 0, carry 1. 7 plus 1, 8 plus 2. 10 or 7 plus 2, 9 plus 1, 10. 10 is not a part of the base 8 unit. So what we need to do is convert this 10 to a base 8 number or base 8 digit. So therefore we have changing 10 base 10 to base 8. So we divide this 10 by 8. So 8 into 10 goes one time. Remainder 2. 8 into 1 you can't. So therefore remainder is one so therefore eight base ten is equal to one two base eight so this must change again so eight into ten and then we're left with one two for the answer so therefore we'll have two carry one and then four plus one is five and five is a part of the base eight unit so therefore we can easily write about the five right here so there are points when it becomes easy to do and then they're just some points when it just requires a bit of calculation so now we are subtracting base 8 so now we have 5 from 2 we can't as we say we're in subtracting the base 2 digits so now we have to go and borrow so now we are borrowing 1 from this 3 to leave us with 2 and the same thing with as I explained earlier when we bring across that one it becomes 8 so it is 8 plus 2 right so we cross out that 3 leave us with two and we carry across one which is an eight since we're in base eight so it's now supposed to be eight plus two this two to give us ten so it's eight plus two to give us ten so therefore it's now five from ten to give us five or ten minus five to give us five and then we have seven from two that again we can't do so we have to go across again to the six to borrow so we're borrowing from our neighbor mr six so it's now five and then the, the one that we brought across, it's eight, so it's eight plus two again. So the two that was already there, so it's eight plus two give us 10. So now we can say 10 minus seven to give us three. And then we have four from five that we can definitely do. And we have one and there's nothing to subtract from the seven. So we have seven, one, three, five to the base eight. So just to wrap up, once you understand the principles outlined above from subtracting or adding bases, you can apply them to any base that is given. So whether base 2, base 4, base 8, base 10, base 11, base 16, base 6, base 8, base 20, base 99, whatever base. Once you understand the principles, then you can go ahead and apply them. So understand the principles and the methods. Practice, practice, practice and you will do well. So thank you for joining me on this journey and we'll see you another time.